So after all the lead-in, it is showtime. Arash Madani joins us from Rio. Looks like they are ready to roll there finally, Arash. Well, yeah, in a lot of ways, the Olympics resemble the final exam. All that cramming, all that prepping at the very last minute, so you're ready and away you go when the lights come on. And the Canadians, well, away they go into the gymnastics competition in the very same venue. Rosie McLennan will defend her Olympic championship next week, next Friday, next Saturday. Now, the men's qualification in gymnastics is on Saturday. The women go on Sunday, and that's where there could be a real shot at a medal for the Canadians. Ellie Black, you may remember that name. She's 20 years old. She's from Halifax. She won five medals at the Pan Ams last summer. Three of them were gold. She's finished in the top eight in the World Championships in three separate events. So she's knocking on the door. But of course, we're, we're all waiting to see how McLennan does in 2016 after her triumph in London 2012. Well, a big start for Canada's women's soccer team already. The defending bronze medalist knocking off Australia 2-0 on Wednesday. Just how big a win was that leading into Saturday against Zimbabwe? Oh, it was huge. It was huge, and I had a chance to speak with some Canadian Olympic officials, and there was major relief from them. I mean, the COC really wants this team to succeed. The, all the buzz that Christine Sinclair and that group did when they won the bronze in London, that's a win over a top-five Australian team. So now on top of that, the questions were on Sinclair. You know, four years later, a little older, some injuries along the way. How would she fare? Didn't look out of place. And then in net. When Erin McLeod went down after ripping up her knee, Steph Labay was suddenly thrust into the spotlight. I mean, she's no rookie. She's 29 years old, but never under this stage. A clean sheet right away, and Zimbabwe awaiting on Saturday really puts Canada in good position to get out of the group. And there would have been a real, real issue had they not. Look, there's only six players left from that London 2012 roster. It's not your older brother or older sister's team that they remember so the fact that they got off to that win was huge leading into game two on Saturday now Raj the Olympics routinely begin with swimming and prelims getting Saturday started outdoors at the Rio Aquatic Center what should we look forward to this weekend when it comes to the pool well here's what here's what may blow you away the last time a Canadian woman won a medal at the Olympics in swimming was 1996 in Atlanta Emily Overholt on Saturday gets her opportunity in the 400-meter individual medley. It doesn't look like she's a real favorite to win a medal, but she gets her chance then. Ryan Cochran medaled in 2008 in Beijing and 2012 in London. He'll get an opportunity in the 400 freestyle on Saturday, but his bigger events are to come. Where it gets interesting is on Sunday at the very same aquatic center where the synchro diving, the three-meter synchro diving with Jennifer Abel in her third Olympics at the age of 24 and her rookie Olympian partner, Pamela Ware, they get after it. Now, it was Abel and Emily Haymans who won bronze in London 2012. Haymans subsequently retired. Abel and Ware are an interesting duo because not only did they win silver at the Pan Ams last year, but silver at the World Championships. And so much of synchro diving is about chemistry and teamwork. These two insist they have it. We'll find out this weekend if they can really show it and get onto the podium. Oh, the fun is just beginning. Thanks a lot for this, Arash.